Good morning, everyone, and welcome back from half term. Today's virtual assembly will be taken by Mrs. Lorizade. Uh, good afternoon, year seven and eight. It's Sunday afternoon here, and I'm sitting in my garden. You should be watching this on Monday morning, I hope. I hope you've had a really good half term, enjoyed some of this beautiful weather that we've had. I hope you've been looking after your families and also had some rest and relaxation. So today I wanted to talk to you about The Hunger Games. Uh, it's a book, I mean I read the book when it first came out but reread it over half term and really enjoyed it. I'm sure the majority of you know all about it either through the book itself or through the film but if not it's a fantasy novel. It is set in what was once North America and is now called Pan Am and there's a very rich city surrounded by 12 different districts and the city is called the capital and every year in the capital they hold the Hunger Games and the Hunger Games requires one boy and one girl from each of the districts to come together and compete and the boys and girls have to be between the ages of 12 and 18. Uh, the whole event is filmed and broadcast on the TV channels in Pan Am, so it's a real focus for what's happening. Uh, the central character, the main protagonist, is uh, a young woman called Katniss Everdeen, and she ends up participating in the games uh, because she takes the place of her sister, who uh, she doesn't want her to go and participate and Katniss is 16 years old. So Katniss reminds me of a lot of you because she's a real strong, a really strong young person who has lots of really good qualities, she's very resourceful, uh, she has lots of strength, she really supports and helps her family and also she reminds me of the qualities that we're all developing in ourselves at Harris Academy Wimbledon, our independence, our integrity and our resilience uh, as we make a difference to our own lives and the lives of everyone else around us. So she's independent because she looks after her family, so she's had quite a tough uh, life, tough upbringing, her father died when she was young and so she's taken on the main responsibility for looking after her mother and her sister. Uh, she is, uh, she has lots of integrity because she always tries to do the right thing and support those people around her, especially those people she really cares for and she is truly resilient and we really see that uh, when she participates in the Hunger Games. And you will have all really developed your resilience over the period of the last two months because you've shown that you can adapt to change, you've shown that you can work independently in different situations. I have been so impressed with some of the work that your teachers have shared with me. Uh, you really have uh, shown all those qualities that we've talked about right from the beginning of the year so I'm really really proud of you and you should be really pleased with yourselves. So this half term um, will follow very much the same format in the sense that there'll be a mixture of live lessons on Teams and the PowerPoints. I really want to encourage you as much as possible to participate in the Teams lessons because the teachers are able to explain the new information in more detail than they can on a PowerPoint. So please try and tune in for all of those Teams lessons. But we're introducing uh, a, a tutor time with your house tutor every Wednesday between 9 and 9.30. That will also be a Teams live lesson and I really want everyone to participate in that. You'll be set a challenge, you'll do some human and life skills work, but you'll also be set a challenge that you have to complete in the afternoon. So PE will now be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday with the tutor time coming in that middle Wednesday and you'll be pleased to know we're not going to do any end of year examinations. I don't think uh, it's quite right to do those examinations in our current climate but we do want to see the work that you're doing so you will all be set a significant piece of work in each subject. Your teachers will talk to you about that in more detail but you'll have to submit that work and you will get the work back with a mark and some comments on what you've done well and how you can improve in the future. So it's really important that for that significant piece of work you do your best work 
for each of the subjects and you will start to do those those pieces of work in the next couple of weeks. On the 29th and 30th of June uh, we'll have some completely different days so we'll do what we call as you know our deep learning days. One of them will be focused around sport and exercise and the other one will be focused around our human and life skills program so similar to work that you've done in tutor time before. I hope fingers crossed if it is safe to do so uh, in July towards the end of July we might be able to invite you all back in to have at least one session with uh, some teachers to kind of finish uh, the year but we'll have to watch that very carefully and uh, I continue to follow all the government advice uh, so I'll only be able to do that if we are given the all clear to do that. So. What I'd like you to do this half term is to work really hard, really look after yourselves, remember that we are always here. There is always a teacher that any of you can talk to, whether you're struggling with any of your work, whether you want a little bit of help with other things that might be happening in your lives, then do get in touch. Uh, we all really, really miss you. We can't believe it's been so long since you've actually been uh, in school and we hope we can see you at the end of this year. If not, we'll definitely be seeing you, we hope, in September. So work hard this half term, get in touch if you need to and uh, we'll be speaking to you during the whole week. Next